It's Patrick from Half Wheel, and this is the Porsche Design Spacecraft, a new flat flame lighter from a company that you may have heard of for any number of a wide range of products that bear the name, but which you might not find in your local cigar shop. Now, as you might know, another Porsche Design flat flame, the Heber, which I have right here, is one of my favorite lighters, flat flame or not. So I was intrigued to see what could be considered its bigger sibling has to offer. As you can see, the spacecraft is a much bigger body, and there's a reason for that. It's because the flat flame is much wider. So as you can see, this is the Heber's flame, and I'll show you it again when we get the lights down. Pretty standard, uh, not huge, but very efficient, nice little lighter. Now, I'm going to reveal one of the secrets about the spacecraft, and that is the way it slides up. And as you can see, a much bigger and wider flame. And again, we'll show you more of that when the lights go down. Uh, so again, that makes it a much bigger body. Uh, in terms of the that opening, the Hebers is about three-eighths of an inch wide. The spacecraft is about twice as wide at three-quarters of an inch or so. As for the other specs, the spacecraft measures 2.9 inches high, uh, an inch and a half wide, and eight-tenths of an inch thick. As you can see, it is a much thicker lighter than the Heber, and a little bit taller, although just a smidge skinnier. It weighs about five ounces, much more substantial in the hand. You're definitely going to know this is in your pocket. It's available in four colors. This one, which is a black with a sort of a carbon fiber finish. And then there's also gray, silver, and titanium, which are all solid colors. All the options have an MSRP of $200. Now, beyond the bigger flame, the spacecraft also has this rare slide-up ignition. It's not the only lighter that has it. If you remember the Calibri slide, you will recall this design. But it is definitely unique and not something you see all the time. So again, to ignite the lighter, you just push up on the button. That will open up these two hinged doors right here. It'll slide up this centerpiece. That is the actual lighter or the business end of it, if you want to call it that. Uh, the butane starts flowing, and then when you get to the top, the ignition gets sparked, and you've got yourself a lighter. When you're done, you just release it. Everything returns to its starting place. The lighter also features a nice punch cutter on the bottom, and that just flips out just like that. Plenty of room to get your cigar in there, and even if you smoke bigger cigars, you should have no issues with that, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. There's also the small screw-style flame adjuster right there, standard butane valve right there, but as you will notice, there is no fuel window. So if you follow these lighter reviews, you know how much I love my fuel windows, and that's one of the reasons I do like the Hebers, because it has one right there. Now, since lighters are ultimately about the flames, let's turn the lights down and see what it looks like, especially when you compare the spacecraft to the Heber. We get the lights turned down here. As you can see, nice big wide flame. Flat flame is still applicable, though certainly if you look at it from this side, it's sort of a crown shape or a W flame uh, with the three points. You just use it like you would any other lighter, except you kind of paint the bottom of your cigar um, with the flame. It gives a nice even toast, and it's very capable of handling big, thick ring gauge cigars. But I promise you that I wanted to show you what this is like next to the Heber, and... That is the Heber on the left. And as you can see, a nice little kind of spade-shaped flame. And once again, that is the spacecraft right there. Much wider, about twice as wide. Makes it much easier to get your bigger 60 ring gauge-ish cigars lit up. All right. So this is getting a little bit hot, which is something I'm not terribly crazy about, but such as using a lighter. So let's turn the lights back up here. Now, in terms of its lighting ability, the spacecraft is certainly no slouch. The ignition is very good, though it's not absolutely perfect in terms of lighting every time. And using it is easy and quick, especially with those thicker ring gauge cigars. Now, have you ever felt that standard flat flames like the Heber or any of its multiple competitors were too small or they felt overmatched by Gordos? This should resolve that issue. You use it the same way, effectively just paint the foot of the cigar by moving the flame back and forth. It gives you a nice, even toast. The trade-off of that is that it's not so great when it comes to specific touch-ups. It's also not as great when it comes to uh, slender cigars, Lanceros, Coronas, things like that. You do run the risk of scorching the sides, so you have to be careful with it. And again, with every lighter, I don't care if it's a torch or a flat flame or a soft flame or a match, you have to be careful not to scorch and burn the foot of your cigar. Otherwise, it's going to taste charred and funky right in those first puffs. So again, this is plenty of flame. More flame than probably most people need. So again, use it with caution because you don't want your cigar getting all funky. Now, at $200, the spacecraft does carry a decent price tag. Though, 
If you like more unique brands and designs, it is a bit more palatable. You're definitely paying a premium for the name and the design, and there are plenty of other flat flames that will light your cigar just as well. And I should also mention that it seems we'll be seeing more wide flat flames on the market. We've already seen a few with the ST DuPont Mega Jet, and that might affect your decision. So if you're willing to wait, you might see some other options on the market before too long that to give you a similar flame, but at a lower price point. Regardless, though, the spacecraft is an otherwise very good lighter that I have no problem recommending and have really enjoyed using over the last couple of weeks. So again, that's the Porsche Design spacecraft. Thanks so much for checking out this review. And for more on the premium cigar industry, including news, reviews, legislation, much more, check out halfwheel.com.